Point Vintage Guitars in Mindtel, Germany, and this is a 1960 Gibson Les Paul. Well, this is how it was called back then, before, in I think 1963, Gibson changed the name to SG. But it's still a Les Paul, it's a Les <coughs> with the sideways tremolo, a mysterious tremolo that I never understood, but Billy Gibbons keeps it, has it on his new SGs for sound reasons, I don't know kind of mysterious. I don't know whether he uses them, but this is the original tremolo, of course. It has, the, the very early SGs, or SG Les Pauls, have very slim necks, but this one has a comparably, I wouldn't say chunky, but not as slim, which improves the sound and improves the tunability and the overall stability of the guitar. So that's very favorable. That's great. It's almost like on the, on the 63 or 64 SG. Um, the rest of it, it's the first year of, you know, the new guitar. It's beautiful, brown finish, and you know, these necks, of course, are a dream, you know, the accessibility, accessibility of the higher frets, uh, the action in general, it's fantastic. <coughs> I show you the pickups. This is the neck pickup, PAFs, of course. Oh, this is the typical sweetness of PFs and bridge pickup. <laughs> Aggressivity, the 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 the, the and of course we all know this from Angus Young and so on. But SGs are so great, you know, they cut through in mad so well. They can sound really big if you know. But they, I don't know. I, I really like them, and it's of course it's an exceptional example of that. It's a 1960s still Les Paul from Gibson, and this is Ali Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Mindtel, Germany. Thank you. Bye bye.